Hope you've been able to play The Witcher 3 safely without too many bugs. More patches are on their way. And Rockstar San Diego's job opening may hint at a new Red Dead game. I'm Tam2. And I'm Danica. This is Turn Base for May 26. Downgrade gate aside, The Witcher 3 is getting some patches sooner than later. The PC patch that came out last week will be hitting PS4 and Xbox One soon, hopefully fixing the save game breaking issue on Xbox One systems. Meanwhile, PC gets a second patch which increases the quality of textures on high and ultra settings and much more. Game's gonna look better than ever for PC players. The studio who brought us an amazing open world western game is working on a new title with dynamic multiplayer gameplay in every aspect of the game. The job opening mentions Xbox One and PS4, so we'll at least know the possible Red Dead sequel will be playable on those systems. Hopping back in the driver's seat here from last week, Need for Speed Reboot, not Underground 3, will also be running on the Frostbite engine which is powering the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront game. Ghost Games, who previously developed Need for Speed Rivals, mentions the new game will focus on customization, authentic urban car culture, a nighttime open world on the west coast in a place called Ventura Bay, and a captivating campaign to take you through the story. Reboot Shmeebo, this is a new underground to me. Also in high gear is Capcom's remaster machine, as the Resident Evil Zero remaster has been announced earlier today. Showing off their reliance on special green herbs, the video shows no gameplay whatsoever and just wants to assure us that the team, accompanied by some of the original developers, is looking forward to making a great next remastered title. If you're anything like me, you woke up to a teaser from 2K Studios titled Advent. What is it exactly? The sci-fi looking teaser shows that Advent Administration is a company most likely involved in whatever 2K's next AAA title was announced earlier this month. Keep an eye out on Twitter and zoom in games for anything we can catch on it during E3. And it's time for the loot list. Loot list. <laughs> Big Time Ink Wars hits the Wii U with Splatoon. The colorful third-person shooter game will launch exclusively on the Wii U. Ultra Street Fighter 4 hits PlayStation 4 with all of the currently launched DLC and will support PS3 fight sticks and 60 frames per second action in glorious 1080p. Badland Game of the Year Edition hits the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita with new analog stick controls and enhanced visuals, offering over 15 hours and 100 levels of single-player story content. 100 co-op levels and 27 multiplayer deathmatch stages for up to four-person local multiplayer. Sounds like something we ought to play during Big Red Laser. Mm -hmm. Dungeons & Magic hit the other consoles this week as well as Rogue Legacy finally comes to Xbox One and Magicka 2 brings its local multiplayer fun to the PlayStation 4 and Arcania The Complete Tale adds the RPG cherry on top of this loot list for PS4. And that's it for Lulis and a brand new week for gaming. Join us on Twitch for all kinds of streaming from our stream team and say hi. Let us know what you're playing this week and what news matter to you. I'm Tamtu. And I'm Danica. And now it's your turn, 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 turn. <laughs>